In this chapter, we cover Vault data standard usage in Autodesk Inventor. Inventor has several different workflows to create and save new files. You'll get introduced to each of them individually while looking at the role of data standard. Practice in exercises to get your first hands-on in using data standard for Inventor on your machine. There are six main workflows for Inventor. Workflow 1A, save with auto check-in. Saving a new part assembly, VDS shows the dialog new file. As users commit the metadata, data standard invokes the check-in command automatically. Depending on the vault option, dialog suppression setting, the automatic check-in invokes the dialog or completes the file upload to Vault silently. In the following workflow examples, the check-in dialog suppression is on. Workflow 1B, save and check-in manually. We can disable the auto check-in option on dialog close. To enable this behavior, we copy the configuration file in mentor.cfg from cat customization to cat.custom customization. Change the value of show check-in dialog to value false. After the inventor restart, the data standard save dialog closes without further action. We can check in the file manually. Workflow 2A Reusing model file name. By saving a new part assembly documentation, VDS shows the dialog new file. In case the vault option disables file numbers, VDS also disables the numbering scheme selection and suggests the file name based on the model name. Note that the administrators should continue to map properties from model to drawings in the inventor template settings. As users commit the metadata, Data standard invokes the check in command automatically. Workflow 2B Using numbering schemes. If the option Generate Numbers is enabled, the new file dialog allows the selection of a numbering scheme and hides the text box of the file name as the scheme is active. Workflow 3. Edit datasheet of existing models or drawings. An existing vault may contain inventor models and drawings that have been released a long time before data standard started supporting the workflow of driving metadata. VDS for inventor works in line with inventor properties, so the datasheet gets the values of the current model or drawing. A user also might open a model drawing under revision and update geometry or annotations. As the model or drawing saves, data standard validates the metadata silently in the background. In case of validation errors, the edit datasheet shows up and enforces users to comply with updated company rules. Workflow 4A Copy including drawing. This workflow saves the current state of a part or an assembly and invokes VDS copy file dialogs for models and drawings. A warning message appears if the source file current version is different from the latest version in Vault. Data standard uses the identical dialog definition with the new file dialog, but behaves slightly different. The folder breadcrumb pre-selects the path of the source file, and there is a prefix copy underscore on file name if no numbering scheme is pre-selected. The subsequent copy file dialog for the drawing is of similar look and feel. The suggested file path reflects the path of the copied model. 
Number scheme selection enables or disables according to the vault option Generate numbers as for new drawing or presentation files. So if the model used the prefix copy underscore, the suggested drawing name reuses the prefix and if the model name consumed a new number, the suggested drawing name and if the drawing names are linked to the model names, the new drawing name suggestion is the new model's file number. The suggested new title text value adds the prefix copy underscore. Workflow 4B. Replace with copy including drawing. This workflow is useful when the user wants to keep the current state of a part or an assembly and continue working on a copied model within the current assembly context. The replace command expects the user to select a model occurrence. Then, the copy model including drawing workflow starts as we saw in workflow 4A. Committing the copy file dialog for the drawing, the workflow ends. The newly created drawing remains open, while the newly created model file already replaced its origin in the assembly. Note that the data standard command replace with copy automatically offers the option to replace all if the user selected component is one of the multiple component occurrences. Workflow 5 Save copy as. Invent a data standard save copy as command allows saving models to step and JT and drawings to AutoCAD DWG. DXF and PDF formats. Based on the format selected, all export options are accessible respectively. The benefits are vault folder selection, the optional numbering scheme, adding metadata based on the target file category, and a silent check in of the new file on dialog close. The check-in of these export files is always enabled regardless of show check-in dialog option. The checked-in export files are not attached to the source. Workflow 6a Frame Generator VDS detects new frame assemblies, changed or added frame member files on saving events of the parent assembly. Looking into our current sample, we see a new frame subassembly, including the skeleton reference and several frame members created. Initiated by a save on the parent assembly, VDS lists all of them in a special data standard new files frame generator dialog. The activated numbering scheme replaces all temporary file names on dialog close. Users access each file type's metadata and can fill frame members properties based on multi selection. As we add more frame member components, subsequently save actions incrementally added new member files only to the dialog. Previously saved frame generator files don't list again. Workflow 6b Design Accelerator Similar to before, Data Standard for Inventor filters new design accelerator assemblies and components in a special dialog New Files Design Accelerator. In the sample shown here, we created a shaft and added a bearing and an O ring. VDS recognizes all phantom assemblies and custom part files, like the shaft part the O-ring and the bearing are filtered as standard components that must not change metadata. Multi-selection within each file type allows the filling of descriptive metadata in a single step. Workflow 6C Tube and Pipe Inventor aggregates tube and pipe routes within run sub-assemblies. These are the starting level for data standard capturing all route parts and their components. Unlike frame or design accelerators, tube and pipe sub-assemblies ask for a file name and location before they create. VDS overwrites the file name on saving later. 
but does not influence the location. The dialogue concept replicates the principle seen before. Fill descriptive metadata that is not pre-filled by content center source within a single spot. Workflow 60. Cable and Harness. Workflow and concept of cable and harness are identical to tube and pipe, so you can use the same principles while generating a cable and harness assembly. Exercise 1. Create new in place components. During the workflow demonstrations, we saw VDS behavior for a single model and documentation files. In this exercise, we practice the usage of data standard in an assembly workflow for multiple new components. Step 1. New assembly. Let's create a new assembly, but don't save it for now. Step 2. Create the first in-place component. Continue adding a new component in the context of the assembly. The name and folder location are not relevant at this stage. Select the template base ring and create a component. Place the model and leave the component set at level. Save the file. Since we have two documents unsaved, we first save the assembly. Select the folder chapter 5. Engineering category is pre selected and you might expect that the numbering scheme engineering also activates as we learned in chapter 1 for Vault Explorer. The scheme aligns as soon as you change the category, in the case selecting Office and changing to Engineering. The numbering scheme reacts to the change category event and the pre-selection in the dialog initialization prevents it. Fill the title in description and commit to the dialog. Inventor displays the known assembly save listing and we can expect that the part file to be handled by data standard. Again, select the folder chapter 5, numbering scheme engineering, and enter metadata inventor material selection list populates to the dialog. If we select another material like PC ABS plastic, the material updates on dialog close. Step 3. Create a second in-place component. Repeat the steps to create another in-place component and select the tutorial template flange IPT. In this case, save it before you leave the components edit level. Data standard automatically suggests chapter 5 folder. Note that watching the Vault browser, you may encounter a situation that a new in-place component displays like a suppressed component. Refresh the browser to update the view. Step 4. Add components from Vault. Many users prefer having Inventor and Vault Explorer side by side on dual screen. For this scenario, Data standard adds another productivity benefit by inserting components from the search result or list view into the current assembly. We don't have too many components yet in our training vault. At least, we can search for the flange that we created lastly and insert another instance to follow this approach. Data standard hands over to inventor and the new part is at the cursor as known for Inventor Place Component Procedure. Exercise 2. Skip Vault Data Standard Users may want to skip data standard dialogs on save events. There are various reasons for doing this. The usage of third-party library for purchased components. 
The library populates completed metadata and there is no reason to interact for user input on save. Many imports of larger assembly files in third-party file formats. Instead of saving all files interactively one by one, you may prefer saving all and bulk edit all metadata later. Data standard configuration shares an option to recognize files not to be handled based on properties. Third-party library files usually share a custom I property containing the vendor information. For import files, Inventor generates a custom property sending system to store the originator of the imported geometry. Step 1. Import third-party assembly file. Open the file projector Vintech Pro 4500 Solid Assembly in Chapter 0 Training File. Select Convert option. Note that the Reference Model option results in a single inventory assembly file with associative internal components, so there is no risk of interacting with multiple VDS new file dialogs. Don't enable the option Reduced Memory mode before you disabled VDS for import workflows. Complete the import saving all files to vault selecting the folder Chapter 5, the numbering scheme engineering, and adding text to the title field Projector. The Save Dependence dialog is like an announcement of how many VDS new file dialogs are following. So, this is the last option to stop and configure to skip for imported third party file formats first. Be prepared for Another 6 new file interactions if you proceed. Step 2. Configure VDS Inventor to skip for third-party imported files. As mentioned before, Inventor third-party import adds a custom property sending system to each file. Use this property to register third-party imports for skipping save events in the file Inventor CFG. Copy the inventor.cfg to the customization folder. Add the property name sending system to the node skip for property as shown. Save the file and restart inventor. Step 3. Repeat import and save of third party assembly file. Repeat the import of the file, but now select a matching local folder in the options like shown. The Save Dependencies dialog lists all original file names and saves without any further vault interaction. Note that if you unloaded data standard for inventor instead, the vanilla vault numbering interaction initiates. As a general recommendation, use this configuration option as a default if you frequently import larger third party file formats. Once the files are in vault, a bulk property edit to transfer original file names to the title field and a subsequent rename action might outperform the timely effort to fill all data sheets one by one in Inventor. Chapter 5 Summary This chapter introduced the various options and workflows that Data Standard for Inventor offers. So far, we did not customize the VDS components involved. Don't worry. Starting to learn advanced customizations in Chapter 7 and beyond, we always look at Vault and both CAT clients, AutoCAD and Inventor individually. In Chapter 6, we will discuss the usage of new task edit task functions.